On this episode of RV Nation, we're taking the shell of a megabus, stuffing it with features you'd usually find on a yacht, and creating a $2 million rig that will blow you away. Whatever your heart desires, we can do. It makes it pretty extreme. It's the ultimate crossover, as the best of both worlds come together in one of the most incredible packages you'll ever see. The tablet, it's a photographic interface. The mother of all hybrids is going to rock the RV Nation next. Americans love the open road, and RVing has been an essential part of the American experience for over 100 years. From the earliest auto camper to the latest mega RVs, each generation adds fuel to the fire that drives the lifestyle, sparks innovation, and ignites the passion of the RV nation. Headquartered in Suffolk, Virginia, about 20 miles southwest of Norfolk, is a company renowned for its specialty in luxury lifestyle RVs. It's a lot like, you know, the yacht lifestyle on wheels. If there's a more extreme RV on the planet, I haven't been on it yet. It takes 8,000 man hours over the course of 20 weeks to build one of these mean machines. The Prevo platform alone is uh, better than a half million dollars. This 50,000 square foot facility produces some of the most expensive RVs in the U.S. Price points on our units are pretty up there. I mean, we're talking in the range of $2 million. Uh, that's pretty extreme. That'll blow your hair back for sure. The Vantare line is the cream of the company's crop. The history of Vantare uh, dates back to Vantare yachts that were built in Florida, where the company started. The boat builders started building coach interiors. And they kept the Vantari as a trade name. It stuck with its boat heritage, which we're proud of. The shell of the Vantari is owned by Prevo, a Volvo-owned company out of Quebec. Prevo builds about the best bus there is. I don't think there's any question about that. I think if you ask their competition, their competition would tell you that. And speaking of competition, it would take a lot from any other RV to equal the style and amenities provided in this rolling getaway. It makes really good sense for our NASCAR clientele, because this is where they stay when they're at the track. Instead of a hotel room, this is like their house on wheels. It's what the rock stars ride on. This new Vantari H3 is 45 feet long with an impressive 475 square feet of living space. It's being built for a family that would like to travel in style between their homes in New Jersey and North Carolina. When we do a custom build, the buyer is heavily involved in the design process of the coach. The client has made numerous requests and granted the design team carte blanche to design several new features, something they must figure out in the final finishes meeting. Well, it looks like you've got some other pretty nice tile samples here. What's, what is it? I love, love the texture on that. So this is kind of looks like an elephant had print and we're thinking this for the shower. Let's do it. Let's do it in large format. Nobody's seen that. Uh, what are you thinking about for the cabinets? Uh, we're thinking going lighter laminate, mm -hmm. this color. Um, it's kind of a blonde. <laughs> kind of brings that, that yacht feel that we're known for. Well, how about ceiling design? Jimmy brought to engineering this uh, crazy sketch. The two of us played with it on AutoCAD and got the scale right, and then Preston actually made it real and has done the panel design. There's certain systems that are pretty much going to be a standard for us, but as far as the interior design, some of the floor plan layout, everyone's unique. The 25,000-pound commercial bus shell provided by Prevo features a triple slide-out, master suite with king-size bed, and one-and-a-half baths. This is our most recent chassis that's come in. They put in one, two, three, four slides, whatever the customer really wants. There's no frame rails like a truck you see going down the road. It's just this aluminum structure that I'm sitting inside of right now. So when we cut a big hole in the side of it to put the slide rooms in, we got to put some structure back in there to stiffen it up. Prevo is all monolithic. It's made to be a coach. It's a stainless steel structure. Everything's stainless steel except for the suspension components. The multi-step construction process begins by resinking the shell. We custom fit them, and then we re flex them back onto the chassis. So the next step is we got to put all the skins back on. The panels are made from lightweight composites reinforced with aluminum. The key is the, to create all the support that's needed for all the components that's on the bus, but also to keep it light as possible. Coming up, we'll find out exactly what kind of goodies $2 million buys. 
the top of the bus, it's amazing. We have ACs on the top, satellites, TV antennas, satellite radio antennas. When RV Nation continues. Which singer-songwriter had a camper named Jesse after the outlaw Jesse James? Was it Roy Orbison, Tom Waits, Elvis Costello, or Johnny Cash? We'll have the answer when RV Nation returns. So, which singer-songwriter had a camper named Jesse after the outlaw Jesse James? The answer, D. Johnny Cash had at least two Dodge Trapco motorhomes that he used for touring while living in California. Here in Suffolk, Virginia, a leading manufacturer of luxury RVs is making good on its motto, building world-class custom motor coaches that exceed customer desires. Leading the way is the company's Ultralux H345 model, fully customizable with an array of features including marble surfaces. Of course, the lighter the vehicle, the greater the cargo capacity, so each marble slab is modified accordingly. We have to actually mill them down and put reinforced backing on it, so they're really only about you know, less than a centimeter thick of marble, but it looks like conventional thickness marble. Um, so while it seems like, oh, that's just Carrera white marble, in reality, it's, you know, three times the square footage price because it's had to make lightweight. To keep overall weight low, fiberglass is used extensively throughout, which is both versatile and strong. This is applied to the original bus shell to create a distinctive look for this luxury RV. We're making the fairing for the uh, top of the coach. That's our distinctive look, that front with the wing. Right now I'm pulling the ends off because you don't want a cut edge because you'll see that. And we'll start doing some fiberglassing. This is the hardener. All it really takes is about a drop and it'll kick the whole thing. You start seeing colors, in this case green. All right, what I'll do is I'll put an initial coat in here that's so that the fiberglass will soak in. It's the glass that makes it strong, it's not the resin. So what I'm using is acetone and I'm just rolling it out to get a nice uniform look. But that's not the only unique feature on the top of this coach. This show coach has got uh, four full-size awnings. Both sides of the coach give huge amounts of shade, but they look funny if they're just sitting on top of the coach. So we give it a nice aerodynamic, you know, integrated look. Good looks are by no means unique to the exterior of this $2.3 million coach. The interior is equally impressive, thanks in large part to the drop floor design of the slide rooms. This is a triple slide coach that we finished just a couple of years ago for some great clients out of Quebec, Canada. The beauty of the desk section is it's in our flat floor slide room, so there's no traditional step up to get into the slide room. It makes it really easy for me to be able to move my chair around to wherever I want, whether I'm working or just relaxing and watching TV. This drop floor design is a triumph in luxury RV engineering. It actually has the two motors on each side that control the in and out. Then you have this guy right here that controls the up and down, which makes this uh, floor drop down. And once it's all said and done, you have a nice seamless floor. From the floor to the roof, there's a whole lot more involved in this elaborate conversion than meets the untrained eye. We go into the uh, ceilings of the coach and we weld in frames to mount our air conditioners. We've got enough air conditioning capacity for about a 5,000 square foot home. In order to keep these things stationary on this roof, we have to beef up this mount and have a place to anchor this thing down so when you're driving down the road, you don't have an AC unit fly off the top of your coach. Yeah, on the top of the bus, it's amazing. We, we pack a lot of stuff onto the inside, but the outside, it's got <laughs> quite a bit of stuff on it too. We have ACs on the top, satellites, TV antennas, radio antennas, satellite radio antennas, bit of everything on the roof, awnings, so yeah, it's just as busy on top as it is inside. And inside, there's no mistaking the craftsmanship that will make this RV distinct. Check out the custom cabinetry. The cabinets themselves, every one of them is unique. They're all custom engineered and designed. Every piece is cut with a CNC machine. This coach has been commissioned by a family of hardcore travelers. Their list of special requests includes custom velour lined drawers. We have a tuck groove in here. This is a J booth, which is kind of like a couch, uh, and it have a 
mechanicalized table that comes out, and uh, it's pretty nifty. The tub groove provides the velour with its finished look. The drawer slides will fit over this laminate. It has a grain to it, actually, like carpet. We try to run the grain from front to back uh, or inside a cabinet, left to right or front to back on that one. We keep a document in the library of all the cabinets for each coach, so if you ever need a replacement cabinet or a cabinet just like your buddy has, you can call us up. We can make it, build it. Whatever your heart desires, we can do. It makes it pretty extreme. Innovations everywhere throughout the coach, even in the bedroom. The beauty of this is the foot of the bed moves in as well, so then it opens up extra space at the foot of the bed. And there's more surprises when RV Nation continues. When was the first recorded North American road trip? Was it 1888, 1903, 1909, or 1926? The answer, when RV Nation returns. So, when was the first recorded North American road trip? The answer, B. The trip was in a car from San Francisco to New York. It took 63 days and cost $8,000. RV enthusiasts with discriminating taste and deep pockets demand the best, and they come here to get it. This luxury coach with unrivaled accommodations has been specially commissioned by a family from New Jersey that loves the open road and traveling in high style. And high style is something this rig's got plenty of, both inside and out. The interior design on the coach brings elements from uh, a lot of different places. Of course, we always are keeping up with what's going on in the yachting world. One of the things we've done in engineering that uh, I haven't seen anybody else really get close to is our unique pocket door. It's very smooth operating. This is the first time we've run this setup, so now we're having to tweak a few things. I'm getting ready to program the motor itself. It's good? Yeah, seems really good. Check the run back. All the sensors are lining up. Looks good. Awesome. We got to give it the Star Wars look. Star Trek, whatever. A 60-inch TV will be the focal point in the salon. Uh, tweak it a little bit, but other than that, there'll be a sound bar across the top, high-def sound. And this RV has another trick up its sleeve. This is a specially engineered retractable bed. This is a featherlight bed that's made here in-house. Let's see how it works here. Basically comes up and you can stop it where you like. The beauty of this is the foot of the bed moves in as well. So then it opens up extra space at the foot of the bed. Sweet dreams are made of this. This custom RV is being built in Suffolk, Virginia. It'll boast 475 square feet of industrial leading luxury living space. As you'd expect, this super rig is being outfitted with the kind of stuff that a $2.3 million budget can handle. Some of the key features that we integrate into each coach, the touch panel control using a tablet, it's a photographic interface, things like the TV that's built into the bathroom mirror in the master bath. Basically, it's a two-way mirror, so when you're not watching TV, if it's not powered up, it actually just is blank and looks like a regular mirror. The TV mounts into the panel, mirrored panel for the, uh, the medicine cabinet, and on the back here, we have a screen that's just covered in some black mesh to help with heating so it won't overheat. It's a cool feature. You can, you know, watch your satellite and TV in the, when you're taking a shower or uh, when you're using the restroom. This multi-million dollar motor coach is well on its way. From design to final fit out, over five months and over 8,000 man hours have gone into this latest Vantari Super RV. This triple slide out is ready and it has some modern technology that has to be seen to be believed. Can't wait to see how well it shows. RV travel is one of the great American pastimes, but what's the environmental price compared to airline travel? RV travel has a lower carbon footprint. RV travel has a higher carbon footprint. RV and airline travel are equal, or RV trips are the least environmentally friendly way to travel. The answer, when RV Nation returns. So, what's the environmental price compared to airline travel? The answer, A. 0.92 tons more carbon emissions are created from an airplane car trip than a Type C RV trip for every 650 miles traveled.
Check it out. This is what 2.3 million bucks looks like. Go ahead, soak it in. This one-of-a-kind H345 motor coach has been converted from a top-of-the-line Prevo bus shell. 8,000 man hours in the making. It's the definitive extreme RV. This is it. It's our latest and greatest. It's a triple slide motorhome, and I think they get better every time. We've got our uh, special security camera that's got a DVR built in. Cool thing is it records uh, every time the doorbell's wrong. So when you're away from the coach, you get back home and you get a recording of everybody who's come to see you. Come on in. The custom designed ceiling highlights the radiant white cabinetry. I'm up in the cockpit area, got a big 60 inch HD TV behind me. I've got a sound bar system integrated with a subwoofer built in into the salon. We've got a one touch uh, system that will bring all the shades up to uh, let some light in. You see lots of cream colors. I love what they did with the ceiling design. Curves that are intersecting and that matches the uh, backsplash tile in the master bathroom. We've got a great office area over here. Whatever's on my laptop, can plug in, throw that image up over the huge 60-inch HD TV up front. I love the, the combination of textures and fabrics that the design team put together. The coach really brings together modern elements and traditional design cues. You see it's got uh, nail head detail on this sofa and a really cool textured leather. So this sofa is super comfortable to sit on. If you want to sleep here, we've got you covered. It's actually got a queen size. Uh, pull out airbed built in. We got a great galley in the new coach. One of the main features that I love from a design aspect is this huge uh, backlit glass tile backsplash. The fully tricked out kitchen features a large sink and a dual burner smooth top stove with covers, a Viking microwave with convection oven, a huge top of the line Viking refrigerator and drawer type dishwasher, and soft closed drawers made of finished maple with dovetail joinery. And these all have automatic retracting slider sets on them and then a locking system. So one push of a button and it locks all the drawers shut for travel. So when you're ready to eat, I've um, got a great J-shaped booth dinette here. Push a button and your sofa seating or your dinette seating comes out, as does the table to give you lots of room. Coming from the salon to the stateroom, we've got this gorgeous dark wood flooring that's in a chevron pattern that just leads you right down the hall. A convenient half bath featuring Featherlight's innovative Easy Glide pocket doors located just outside the main bedroom. In the bedroom I've got nice storage and a hanging locker here. In the stateroom we've got a full king bed, beautiful textiles, a nice button tufted headboard. When you want to kick back in bed, do some reading, you know, watch some TV, push a button and the head of the bed goes up and the foot of the bed moves in. Got a big 47 inch flat screen HD TV got our new surround sound soundbar system and then uh, his and hers hampers that are removable to put your dirty clothes in the ultra convenient washer dryer stack means you'll never have to jockey for a parking spot outside the local laundromat in this cabinet we've got what we call our mission control system this coach has got the latest in uh, deployable HD satellite dish. So wherever you are, you can get full 1080 HD reception for our HD TVs. We've got Blu-ray players and two surround sound systems, one for the salon, one for the bedroom. The master bathroom has a nifty feature on its pocket door, instant switchable privacy glass. Just when you thought it couldn't possibly get any better, there's this. One of my favorites is the television built into the mirror. Uh, disappears when you switch it off. In the shower, we've got a big architectural glass enclosure. Something that's really unique to this coach, large format tiles. Our designers found a really cool, almost an elephant hide print tile, 20 inch by 20 inch tiles. And the rain shower is a rarity in the world of RVs, while the exterior is both for fun and function. So now we're on the driver's side of the bus, and this is really the business side of the bus. So this is where we house all of our systems. The first bay houses all of the Ventare's water controls, while a huge hot water generator is installed in the next one over. This is a hydronic heating system that heats your domestic hot water for your shower and your sinks. It also provides cabin heat, and then it's got a diesel-fired burner. So as long as you've got diesel fuel on the coach, it'll heat hot water until you run out of a water supply. 
Additional exterior bays house the goodies. There's a full-sized barbecue and flat-screen TV that are both electronically controlled, moving in and out at the touch of a button, all under the ample shade of the patented and retractable awning. There are three stage. First stage covers the slide room. Second stage is a window awning. Third stage, full patio awning. Gives you shade to just kick back and grill, relax, catch a little bit of the race or the game on your flat screen. This is the latest and greatest, the newest Vantari motorhome. Can't wait to see how well it shows. You can bet this baby's going to turn a few heads as it hits the open road and makes its way across the RV Nation.